cheer someone else up. And here's my favorite. The more and more I learn about people, the more I love my dog. Alright, now does anybody have any food with them? Because if you do, please eat it right now, right in front of people that are working out. Oh, there's no one working out. Don't worry, there's another fitness center that's almost high level with us, all right? <laughs> here we have the Embarcadero Center right here. Designed to look like books on a shelf, this building can sway up to 17 degrees with wind and seismic activity. However, we are in a paperless world, so by 2017, these are all going to look like iPads. Approaching the California cable car line. Right? Ed, okay, here's where you eat your food, right here. Who's got some food? Yeah. One of these tours, I'm gonna bring a box of cheeseburgers on board and we're all gonna eat just cheeseburgers watching these people work out. Yeah, I, I grew up in LA and there was this burger joint called Ruby's in a in a little mall in Marina del Rey and it was right across the, 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 the concourse or whatever from a fitness center. And so you'd sit there with beers and burgers and milkshakes and just eat and pig out right in front of these people trying to stay fit. It was the, it was the best of time. It was like, hi, yeah, you're working out. I'm eating. Oh, that's great. All right, this is the only east-to-west cable car line in San Francisco. Cable cars were invented by an English fellow named Andrew Holliday who loved animals and was a mining expert. He got tired of seeing horses collapse on top of these hills, so he gets a really super long elevator cable, runs it continuously up the street. Car, take a look at this, how steep these hills are. Now, he runs it underneath the street. Cars grip onto the cables underneath the ground like an upside-down ski lift and get towed to the top of these hills at a max speed of 9.5 miles an hour. The funding for this cable car line was brought to you by a railroad tycoon named Leland Stanford. He and his wife Jane lived at the top of Knob Hill. She loved the shop at the ferry building, our next stop, but hated the walk back up the hill with all her bags. So, Leland said, hey, baby, I love you. You don't want to walk, you don't have to. I'm going to build you a train. Now, ladies, listen up, because if you ever get a man that builds you a train, even if it's a little one at Christmas time going around the tree, that is true love and a total keeper. You keep that guy around. I told you I got a girlfriend. Guess what I just invested in? A train set. Oh, yeah. Now, here we do have the ferry building. We've got to stop here. Is anybody hopping off here for the ferry building? Stop A3 on the map. Anybody, anybody? You guys? No? You guys. Yeah, this is the ferry building. You guys want to go to the Haight-Ashbury, right? Yeah. So you, what you're going to do is um, you want to take the number seven bus from like right here, okay, across the street. No problem. Have a great time. Enjoy yourself.